Well, then you were in a Dragged mm. Across Concrete, yeah, which yeah. was a big budget movie. Well, this no, movie here, really. well, it was a $15 million budget yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. but it made over $300 million. Mm. Mm-hmm. You got some checks coming in the mail. You know, yeah, yeah. In case yeah. you haven't checked yet. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, my thing is uh, keep it diverse. I, I, I do, people, they always going to try to pigeonhole you, right? So I'm the guy that kicks people in the head, right? Over here. But then I'm making you laugh over here or whatever. See, those two movies are drastically different. Oh yeah. Um, so a lot of a lot of actors they stick to a one. You know, he's like he's a romantic comedy uh, guy, and that's where you're supposed to be. They pigeonhole you. But you know, I, that's not me, man. I'm I I have a whole lot more of my in my repertoire to even do. So. Um, you know, I, it's natural that pe- people try to put you on a certain shelf until you break off of that shelf. So, you know, I'm going to keep breaking off the shelf. So, you know, get used to that. Well, there's a pretty strong cast in this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Don Johnson. Mm-hmm. And Mel and Gibson. Mel Gibson. I was, I was concerned at first. Right. Yeah, I was concerned. I was like, oh, man, how is this going to be? Mel Gibson. Did you ever hear the leaked telephone tape? Yeah, I heard that. He said, he told his girlfriend at the time, you look like a fucking pig in heat Mm -hmm. if you get raped by a pack of Mm N-words with a hard R. Right, right. It will be your fault. Right. Yeah. Was it a little uncomfortable hanging out with Mel on the set? No. No, it wasn't uncomfortable. Not one minute. Okay. Uh, let Let me explain how I look at things. And I'm not doing this just to be... Uh, politically correct or just, you know, try to get, gain fans. I could give a damn about that. I'm going to be honest. I, I judge, um, I try to be very balanced when I'm judging things. There, there are situations where as a black man, uh, there's things that I would, you know, that I would say, and I would think everybody, somebody else in the privacy of their own, you know, relationship or whatever it could say. Even, there's some, there are, one, one gripe I have, there are, there are N-words, niggas, whatever, that, that are proud to call themselves that and conduct themselves that way. I ain't cool with that either. You know, I'm not cool with people who, I don't know, like who will support the negative stereotype. But if in your mind you're, 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 you're trying to do, you're trying to rationalize some hoods, right, doing something, that, that's, that's on you. He's saying something that other people say in the privacy of their own relationship and home. I don't think there's one person who hasn't said that damn word, right, in the privacy of their home. Um, I'm not, I hate the word. First of all, I hate it, but I'm not going to judge somebody in that way. You say it to me, you got major problems, right? That's disrespectful. That's a, I had my issues knowing that he, I don't know how comfortable he was with the word and being a big star, I don't know how if people didn't check you, but my fear was like, oh my God, I'm going to be on set. And if this man is the way I think he might be, there's going to be problems because I don't care. I don't care how big someone is. You disrespect me, you got problems. I don't care. So that's the thing I was like, whoo, how's this going to be? So that was my concern. I know this man said this in the privacy of, between him and his, his woman. That's his business, okay? I know they want to make me, you know, society wants to make me mad and say he's a racist. I don't know that. The way I feel, like everybody says it. So, um, but when this man first met me and my tension was like, I don't know how he's, come, he's gonna come off to me and, you know, and I know who I am. The first thing he said is like, hey man, how are you doing? Man, my, my son and I love your movies. And he's like, he's talking about blood and bone and he's talking about martial arts and you know, he's, he's doing jujitsu you know, with, one of, with Higa Machado who I train with and, 
And and I and I'm like, what what what? You know, and he's basically he's just telling me all the stuff. I mean, he's got I'm like, wait a minute, this is Mel Gibson telling me he's a fan of my movies. This is this is a trip. But that's who he seems to be every and not just this day, but every time I was around him, just a self effacing, cool, kickback kind of dude who is like an alpha male. Uh, and and just just down to earth and just could just very very open. Um, I didn't know what to expect from the guy, but uh, as a person who I feel like I can judge people pretty well, you know I could I could I feel like I could tell the difference with somebody just shining me on, and if somebody's the, the genuine person. Uh, you know, when somebody's got alcohol or whatever, in that scenario, you trying to scare your woman or you trying to say something else, could somebody else say that? I think they could. I've never used that word in anger mm. with, with my, any of the women I've dated and mm. any of the friends that I've been mad at. I've had people steal from me. I've <laughs> had mm. very bad relationships over the years. Mm -hmm. I can't think of a single time that I've used that word yeah. in anger. Mm -hmm. It's just not me. That's not you. It's not me. I I I know that I I could I could see that that's not you. It's just not I think me. you're very sensitive to it. I don't. You know. I mean. I can't say I have it. Um, as I've gotten older, I it, I almost never never really use it. Only in a it, only in a com comic way, so every now and then, but but it's like because it means too much to me now because of where where it comes from, and, I, and there's people who defend the word, and my defense is, if it's the same word that you you've heard before someone's life gets taken, how could it be a term of endearment? You know that that's my issue with that of of saying. You know, of embracing the word as a term of endearment. It, it never is that to me. But I mean, it, you know, it, it's, it's what it means to the person saying it at the time. You know what I mean? That's really how I feel about it. There's people who can really re say that word and, and, and say it with the intent that it is, uh, you know, the, the intent that it was originally used for. Uh, and when people are saying that, I think they're referring to not all black people. I think they're referring to a, a set that is that I think everybody can agree is maybe probably not the optimum, you know, the, not the, you know, not not our best folks, and because I'm talking about the people who probably call themselves that, which I have a big problem with, because that's accepting of a white supremacist view. And, the, and that is like the most dangerous white supremacy is the white supremacy that others, other people of color actually believe themselves and th therefore treat themselves in a way that's like unbecoming of who you really are. Yeah, you know, Godfrey's a regular guest mm -hmm. on the show, and we talked about how he has an issue with certain types of black comedians mm. who didn't grow up a certain type of way, who grew up middle class, proper, and so forth. Right. But when they get in front of a white audience, they'll start throwing the N-word around oh, yeah. for laughs. Have your style, but every every comedian doesn't have to use the word nigga in front of fucking white audiences every fucking minute. You don't. Not some some do it because it's their natural language, but some do it because you're insecure and you think you got to start fucking tap dancing because there's a white audience. And I don't give a fuck who the audience is. Fuck you. You should be as intelligent as you are. You went to school, man. Your parents busted their ass to get, to, to to educate you. Fucking use it. Yeah, because it's 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 it's, a che it's cheap laughs, man. Yeah, it's like this lack of this lack of uh, material. It's like some it's just the lowest common den denominator type shit. Um, you know, I, 
Yeah, you know, it, it, I, I don't like that either. That's, I mean, you, you see, it's transparent. You know where it's coming from.